All right, our call for today is we're gonna change out a Bryant accumulator down in there because it is leaking right around the top of it. There's our replacement accumulator. Trusty fan because it's gonna be 93 today. I'm about to set up the reclaim uh, machine. Take the refrigerant out. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot, but we're gonna get started with that and see how it goes. All right, here's the inside of our unit. Here's our accumulator here, and you can see the, uh, the uh, oil stains and dirt smut coming from right around the base where it was leaking here. So uh, we'll pop this one out, put the new one in, and there's a lot of room in here, so it's kind of nice. So a lot of times it's all cramped up inside these things. But this looks pretty good since it's a three ton, I guess. It'd be a different story with a ton and a half. But not too bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this reclaim, which we're about to 13 ounces, so we got a ways to go probably. So, catch up with you in a minute and uh, we'll get down to it. Alright, I uh, got the old accumulator out, pumped down the system. There's only about two pounds left in the system. It's supposed to have around seven. So, uh, I've got it cut out. I'm going to fit the new pieces up to it, weld it back together, sleeve that uh, heat charging port with a 3 8 copper back into the other uh, section of one quarter and uh, get it going. Alright, now we got it all fitted up. We got the Entering line to the compressor, coupling back and fit back down in there. We got a sleeve put on that sensing tube for our heat charging tube. And got to fit it up here going into the accumulator. So we're all ready to start brazing. I'm going to go ahead and braze this up. Alright, outside the unit we're adding this bioflow filter dryer because we've opened up the refrigerant system and I like to uh, always install the dryer, new dryer afterwards. Uh, what I did was I put the bins in the pot coming out of here so I keep it upright. I like to keep them upright because they feel a little bit better as far as fill as in F-I-L-L, -L. Um, especially if there's a low charge or something like that. Uh, the dryer is always utilized 100%, so I like that. Um, that's about it. We're going to braze this up, then I'll be able to pressure check it with nitrogen, and hopefully it'll hold and we can put it in a vacuum. All right, I got the top back on it. I let the nitrogen back off of it so I can hook up the vacuum pump over here. Hook it up because it takes a while to get it uh, to vacuum down. Uh, I got my list over here. I kind of keep this track from my billing. Uh, two pounds of reclaim, three pieces of solder, 16 cubic inch bioflow dryer, the OEM accumulator, two three quarter couplings, and a nitrogen test. I separate those out. I have one for residential since they're smaller line sets and coils, and ones for larger units uh, typically take more nitrogen. So uh, I kind of separate those out and uh, let the QuickBooks do the rest. So. There's our panel, a defrost control, a uh, piece of crap start element. Um, that's pretty much it. I, you know, I'm kind of surprised Bryant. I thought Bryant would have a uh, star relay, but they didn't. They had the old PTC style. But different strokes for different folks. All right, now I'm weighing in the R22. Deal Bryant here. Uh, I got the field piece. It's a SSX34. It's a superheat subcooling guide, and I found that it is just super to have this. Uh, I know some of the other guys who do videos have the digital gauges, and this is sort of like my version of that. Uh, not quite as advanced as those other gauges, but uh, a real helpful thing to have out in the field. Uh, of course, my gauges are still not quite digital, but uh, we're filling it up. We got about point to the nameplate over here. We got 6.38 pounds to put in here, plus an uh, undetermined amount for the line set. I'm probably going to start with an even 7 pounds, and that's going to be a little shy, but I'd rather be a little shy than a little too much. So uh, we'll go from there. Uh, should be in in a few minutes. We should have this thing back up and running. We got 13 degrees of subcooling, and we're calling for, I think, 14 degrees. So we are close enough. We can be within three. Being within one is pretty good for me on this old boy. So, uh, we're gonna let her be. I think we got it. Seven and a half pounds of refrigerant. Later, we have a Happy Bryant heat pump.